My name is Tom Sensick, and I want everyone to know why I'm dedicating my time as a Healthcare for All Oregon board member. First, I became a family nurse practitioner to provide access to healthcare to those that needed it and improve the lives of individuals, families, and communities wherever I worked. I have been working as a nurse practitioner for 35 years. I went into providing patient care with the thought that I would be giving high quality care to every one of my patients. That is not the current health system we have. Our healthcare system provides care to the citizens of this country, yet that care is subservient to the primary focus of making money. Any time you're required to pay dollars at the point of service, it is a deterrent for care. Insurance ensures there are barriers to care, there is, which creates delays, which hold people hostage at the time when they are their most vulnerable. I live out on the Oregon coast in Tillamook County, and every day I see people who are struggling to make ends meet. I'm facing bankruptcy, outrageous medical debts, and having to make the choice between putting food on the table and, you know, seeing a doctor when they need to, or when their family, their children need to. Delivery of healthcare is secondary to the question of how business can turn a profit and keep revenue strong for the pharmaceutical industry, private insurance companies, and hospital system. I did not become a nurse to waste my time with a complex insurance-based system. I'm tired of my patients dying prematurely. This COVID pandemic has shown us that healthcare in America is inequitable. The last 10 months of this COVID-19 pandemic has further highlighted the gross inadequacies and horrors my patients and our community members face every day. I've seen the injustices in healthcare for more than 50 years. The rich can purchase great care. Poor and hardworking folks can't. Having to turn to GoFundMe is wrong. I serve on the HCAO board because I believe healthcare is a human right. I believe that no person should go without the healthcare they need. I joined this organization and volunteer my time because I believe that healthcare is a right and not a privilege. Health is a human right. Why do I do this work? It's very personal for me. This is the most important thing in my life. I'm a volunteer, but I got a personal reason for it. I lost my daughter after nine years of struggle to get the care she needed when she needed it. Diagnosed in 2000 with leukemia, Tanya Ray for nine years went through things you hear about. I mean, getting the care she needed, get bankruptcy, being hounded by bill collectors, treating her like a dog in an alleyway. Brothers and sisters, nobody should ever be treated this way. It is so inhumane. My family had affordable health insurance through my employer. I didn't think there would ever be a time that this wouldn't be the case. Was I ever wrong? My daughter, during her graduate school, needed surgery. It was considered a pre-existing condition, and her university health insurance wouldn't pay for it. Charity Care covered the hospital charges, but not the doctors, lab tests, and MRIs. These totaled over $10,000 and took most of our family savings. I'm a member of Healthcare for All Oregon because nobody's daughter, nobody's son, no human being should ever be treated this way. My son lost his job and health insurance when his wife was pregnant. Her job did not offer health insurance and she made just a little too much to qualify for Medicaid. They went without coverage. Luckily, Medicaid eligibility increased a, four, a couple of months later and she qualified. Sadly, she delivered very prematurely and my granddaughter did not survive. Only a couple of dollars more per hour, and she wouldn't have qualified for Medicaid. They would have been liable for a $45,000 bill. This would have meant bankruptcy or losing their home on top of losing their daughter. These tragedies happen all too often for way too many hardworking people. This year, when the pandemic hit, like many people, I lost most of my work. So I had lots of time to catch up on projects. When I was pruning, the orchard ladder slipped and I fell blowing out my knee. 
The hospital charged me $10,000 cash before I could get the operation at the worst possible time. I'm an enrolled member of the Clinkett Nation of Southeast Alaska. In 2019, I had both hips replaced through Medicare, which dramatically improved my quality of life. IHS provides services only to individuals enrolled in federally recognized tribal nations. Plus, Congress chronically underfunds IHS, leaving vast gaps for eligible members. I'm advocating for a publicly funded universal health care system on behalf of my patients, family, friends, and community as a rural underserved family physician distressed by our current system of health. When my children and my grandchildren seek health care, I'm hoping that they will not run into the obstacles that we do today. I'm advocating for a publicly funded universal health care system because it will fill gaps for Indigenous people and many others across Oregon. Small businesses are struggling all over the country. And when I ran my company for 10 years, we saw health care rise 12% per year on average. This was a big burden and we had to make decisions to either lay off employees or decrease the benefits. I was a union rep for over 30 years. There was no problem about health care. It was a gimme. But as the years went on, all of a sudden it started costing more and more. And pre pretty soon people were being asked to pay for a portion of it. And so I watched my brothers and sisters give up wages, give up certain rights and working conditions just to maintain their health care. I myself have had employer-sponsored health insurance and still been unable to get the care that I need because of unaffordable co-pays and out-of-pocket expenses. There's much to say but the fundamental reason I support Healthcare for All Oregon advocacy is my conflict with the inefficiency, waste, greed, and pure negligence of our healthcare industrial complex. We need to change the system. I'm asking you to join me so that we are prepared to face the challenges of our time. The pandemic, more than any other moment in our history, has shown us the importance of working as a community so that we can stay healthy together. I'm envious of other nations' health outcomes. Our health care is anything but equitable and certainly growing less accountable to its citizens each day. So now I am in it to relieve patients and providers of the burdens of this flawed, complex, and toxic insurance-based system so we can have better care to more people for less money. That's why I'm working for publicly funded universal health care. I believe that Oregon should lead the way nationally in ensuring every person has access to health care, regardless of their ability to pay, their age, or their employment status, or any other factor. We are at the precipice of passing strong legislation promoting health as a human right and single payer in our state. And now, I ask you that you support us by joining HCAO today. Here in Oregon, we are making a difference. Healthcare for All Oregon has a plan and we are growing. This is a huge fight and we're up against deep pockets. Um, we're only gonna be able to win with community support, grassroots support from people like you. Um, every dollar matters. Every dollar helps us um, get closer and closer to our goal of securing affordable, high quality healthcare for everyone. I invite you to join with me and thousands of others to bring publicly funded universal health care to all, better care to more people for less cost. I hope you support our cause. Join this movement, help us make a difference, save lives, and get insurance companies the hell out of our health care. Everybody in, nobody out. Health care for all Oregon. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Everybody in, nobody out. Please come join our movement 
so we can all have access to universal, equitable, comprehensive, transparent, and accountable health care. Please go to www.hcao.org and find out how you can support this important movement.